Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2014, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for all things live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. All right, we are continuing our Infocom 2014 coverage, and we've swung by the Allen & Heath booth because we've heard that there is a new mixer over here in the Q line. The Q16's been out for a while, and now there is a new Q32. And I'm here with Michael Palmer, who is the uh, VP of Sales for Allen & Heath, and he's going to walk us through some of the uh, unique features of this console. So, Michael, take it away. Well, thanks. Welcome again, uh, 2014 Infocom. Alan Heath, pleased to announce the Q32. The Q32 is our, our largest and newest version of our popular Q series product. It fills in the line where the 16 and the 24, and essentially what you've got now is you've got a 38 input, 28 output digital mixing system. Some of the unique features that we put on here is number one, it has a seven inch full color touch screen on board. So a lot of the mixers in this price range have very small screens or no touch screen at all. So what that does, that gives the user a very simple interactive experience of being able to get to a lot of the parameters that they might be mixing on. There are 33 faders on the system. What that means is there is an input fader for every single mic pre. So very simple, no layers, really easy for the user to make that transition from digital or from analog into digital. Um, simplified controls, everything's on sends on faders, so if we want to mix our mains, auxes. System has 28 outputs, so you have 10 aux sends, eight stereo groups, four stereo matrixes, um, as well as left, right, and mono. There are also four DCA groups on board, so we can group multiples of channels. There's four mute groups, and four of the effects engines on board from our flagship iLive series product. Things, it's things like reverb, delay, um, chorus, flange, and that type of stuff. Um, pioneered by Alan and Heath is a really unique thing. I mean, the digital console market, everyone throws around this virtual sound check thing all the time. We really simplified it by coming up with a, 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 a proprietary drive called Q-Drive. And essentially what Q-Drive is, is it's an 18-channel USB, onboard USB recording interface that will record straight to a hard drive. So we can take any standard off-the-shelf USB 2.0 or higher compliant hard drive. We can multi-track any choice of 18 sources direct to the drive and play them back through the system. And you even have simplified transport control on board. It looks just like a tape deck. So the system will, pl will support um, multi-track files as well as stereo 24-bit 48K WAV files with song naming uh, song data. So you can see all your song data on there. You can play stuff uh, built into the deck. The back of it does have a 32-channel USB interface. So for those users out there that are using their, their, their favorite software, it is a full 32 by 32 USB interface as well as a full DAW control. So all the faders will actually adjust the faders within your system. I.O. on the back of this thing, everything's built in, so there's 32 mic line inputs, there's three stereo inputs. All of our outputs are on heavy-duty Neutrik locking XLR connectors, so very simple to patch in your existing snake. But, but for people that are going down the road of wanting to do digital snakes, we have a product called GLD, which has been really popular. We've had that out for a couple years, and it's kind of our mid-range mid sized uh, digital mixing system. It has a series of what are called AR racks or audio racks. There's a 24 input and an 8 input box. This will directly interface with that. But new for the show, we've also come out with a portable box. Great for portable church applications, small production companies wanting to put something on stage. They may not have an amp rack where everything's wired up. So this has a heavy duty metal enclosure with, with rubber side pieces on it with a handle. You can daisy chain two of those together and you can mix and match any of the devices on the network and pick and choose those inputs on a per channel basis, not in banks of eight, but per channel basis on the deck. So it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, at this price point. It interfaces directly with our Mi1 personal monitoring system, so you can actually name all of the channels inside the touch screen. There's actually an interactive keyboard on board, a QWERTY keyboard. You can type the names of the channels. It actually will force those names down to that. So products, you know, going to be shipping uh, late this summer, brand new for the show. It has a map price of $35.99, so it puts a lot of technology, familiar Allen Heath build quality and, and sound quality at a really affordable price point. So. Very good. And if people want to learn more information, they can visit the website, I imagine. Yep, www.allen-heath.com. All right, so really cool product, a lot of great functionality, and I think it's going to be great for uh, smaller churches, youth rooms, and uh, ancillary spaces, even portable systems where you need a few more channels than 16. It's a, a very small, lightweight, uh, compact package. So very cool new product from Allen & Heath. <laughs>